This video is designed to help you rig the Hitchhiker Coil Keeper on various salt baits. We'll start off with a 4 inch Bubba Crawl, 5 16th ounce weight on a swim bait with a 4 odd hook. Invert the bait, place the Hitchhiker Coil Keeper in the center of the head, push as you twist clockwise. Once you get it started, it will thread itself. Now it's important to keep the hitchhiker inside the center of the bait. You don't want it to come out the side. So as you twist, use your thumb and forefinger to keep that in the center. You want to go down past the clip. You see the clip there? Another trick you can do with these clips, you can close them down, needle those pliers, go to the bottom of the bait. Now you want to make sure that your hook will go in naturally against the bait, not on an angle. Just twist it accordingly. Now, notice where the hook bends and starts to straighten out. I put my thumb on the bait, push the bait forward, bring the hook through the center of the bait. This is called tex-posed rigging. Bait is rigged straight and is basically rockless. Now, if you get into a heavy weed bed or sunken timber, <clears throat> you want to do what we call needle sticking. Pull the bait forward and let the hook point slightly go into the plastic. Notice how my finger slides across the bait. Now, if I pull the hook point out, my finger stops. Now I have the hook point. Next we're going to do <clears throat> the three and a half inch CW Smallies Delight. This is an eight ounce flutterhead. Now if you like it's easier to press these clips in before you go to put it in the bait. Sometimes when fish jump they can throw these. Okay, we center the hitchhiker, half turn, using our thumb and forefinger to keep that hitchhiker going in the center of the bait. Pass the clip. Now, if you turn it too far, you'll see that the hook doesn't want to lay properly. Just twist it back a little bit. There we go. Against the bait, you can see that this wants to go in two segments from the end. Again, text post bait, CW Smalley's Delight, 8 pounds flutter head, ready to go to work. Here's a WW Smalley's Delight. Little different bait profile, same basic rigging technique with the hitchhiker. Center it, press, twist, now it's hanging on to the threads. I'm going to turn this clockwise again, keeping that hitchhiker in the center of the plastic. Other side of the bait. See that hook wants to go in the last segment back here. Straight through. We have it rigged properly. You don't want the bait up in the air. You don't want the bait down this way. The bait should hang straight. Next we're going to do a 3.75 inch predator crawl. I prefer a 2 odd hook on a quarter ounce flutter head for these baits. Lay the hook flat against the belly of the bait. Push it forward. Bring the hook straight through. Text post. There's a 3.75 inch predator crawl. Rig properly. Now we'll do the shorter 
3.25 inch predator crawl on a one odd hook on a quarter ounce flutter head. Here we have a four and a half inch hogger leech rigged on a flutter head. I prefer these flutter heads because they're virtually snagless. They work very well on rocks. They will get hung up and you'll lose a few in layered slab rock and rivers, but by and large they come through boulders, trees, and weeds carefree most of the time as opposed to an open hook or even a Texas rig with a weight on the nose. Now we have the Wonder Worms with the Enticer stand-up jig heads. Here's a little trick you can do with the coil keepers. You take a pair of needle nose pliers inside the coil that didn't work too well and open these up a little bit as you can see I'm having problems because there's paint on this one there we go what I did was I stretched that stretched that uh, coil keeper out it's a five inch wonder worm center of the bait and the head You want to read these text posts. I'll press this down. Again, if we're in weeds or wood, pull the bait slightly forward and allow the tip of the hook to go into the worm, preventing the hook hanging up on wood or weeds. Fish hits it. Hook's exposed, you hook the fish. This is a six and a half inch Wonder Worm on a three eighths ounce enticer. You don't have to open up these coil springs. I'm just showing it to you as an illustration to make these a little longer. Obviously, my needle nose pliers don't want to go in here. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave this. A fine pair of needle nose pliers would get inside that though. Twist the Wonder Worm all the way down on the enticer head. So the rib part is up. Text posed in open rocky water. Needle stick the tip when we're in weeds and trees. Bass hits it, hook gets exposed, great rig. Now we're moving on for our last two baits with a coil keeper, and these are the River Daughter Junior and the River Daughter Senior. The heads are narrow, so your rigging has to be precise here. Center it. Take care to keep that coil keeper inside the nose of this River Daughter Junior. Throw it all the way down. To the belly that has a hook slot in it. Again, forward a little bit. Straight through. Now we have a Texposed River Daughter that will hook most of the fish that strike it. Again, if we get into weeds and wood, you can needle stick the tip in there, 